there's a reason Anthony Simonson is your one oh, seat no. and one of the Wait. best in the world. Oh, How baby. about that? 7-10 staring at him for a split second. Messengers deliver. Well, this is just dirtier than a gas station bathroom. Watch that head pig come off the sidewalk and cave the tent in. That is dirty. Oh, God, that's four out. First time under the lights of TV. What do you got, Chris? Pretty awesome start there for a guy who's never experienced anything like this. Dialed in. The big man is dialed in. This guy's the real deal. Head mechanic at Holiday Lanes making his TV debut, and he is going to do it by dropping four straight here. His first professional ham bone. You're welcome, Chris Kelto. <laughs> Five in a row, a little Yahtzee for the big man from Colorado. Crusher Kelso with another strike. Because it will mean he won't be able to be shut out if he strikes. And there's the strike. Come on. Nine Come for on. the win. Yes, Give sir. him ten. Kelso moves on. The third time you've done it. First. Strike first, strike hard. Back to back. Opening jacks in match two. 5'10, 260. It's like he's trying to put a catcher's mitt inside a bowling ball. Go. He has been mistake free here today. Oh, help. Sit. Didn't like oh. it. Gets away with it. First time under the TV lights, already one win under his belt, and he is chasing perfection here in match two, and it continues. He's got the first six straight. Randy, crack open that six pack. A little Bam Bam Bigelow look to him, but here's Kelso going for the front seven, and he's got it, and Randy, Belmo, we've got an alert. We've got a PBA on Fox bowling alert coming up. We are officially chasing 300. Level-headed, you can make right life to show our choices. It gives you a better chance for longevity. Great. Eight in a row for Kelto. That's back-to-back -back ham bones. That's a, a rare double ham bone. This guy is for real. Oh, come oh, on! My Stupid seven pin! You gotta be kidding me! Th that ball rolled a pinch earlier, held its line, and the way that it went through the pins, I thought, yep, there's another one. I don't know how the seven pins stood. It, it, that's not right. That's unfair. Re-rack. Do it again. Unreal. But you know what? Oh, how does that miss it? That's crazy. Here to go. Kelso up first. Strike first, strike hard. Yeah, another one. Kelso. Come on. Opening three bagger. Again, he starts so strong and doesn't leave any room for opening for the adversary. Go. Play the hand bone music. in a row. Kelso. You jerk. Well, the seven pin. Come on. Last game it was a seven pin, only a little bit different type that stopped him after he had the front eight. This time it's a seven pin in the sixth. Uh, employees there in the, uh, the lane maintenance world at Holiday Lanes. Strike again for Kelso there. Avalanche of pins falling in the pit. That's what a flush strike looks like. Yeah. And sounds like. All ten buried in the pit. 
there's no way anything stands on a shot like that. On Fox Sports, February 28th for the TOC. Kelso just needs five to move on to the title match. And he is title match bound. well aware of what it's going to take to have longevity at the top. This is also a first. It's the first time that Kelso has not started a match today. Actually, not bowling to the left of Chris, which I think is a little bit surprising. Simonson off a spare. Here he is in the fourth, back on the strike tree. In a row out here. And the fact that he's understanding that. Come on. So that's three in a row now for your one seat. Well, so far so good for Anthony's decision to go straighter and faster. Can I have a re-rack, please? Taking a re-rack here. And it's interesting that, and I get that it's partly because Simonson is throwing it much faster, but Kelso actually creating higher RPMs with his thumb in it. A nice little run here from Simonson. But there's a reason Anthony Simonson is your one oh, seat no. and one of the Light. best in the world. Oh, How baby. about that? Next Saturday. That's pretty good Actually, right next there. Sunday, it's the Southwest. Yes. Come on. Now, is this guy right here, does he, does he carry your torch when, when you're done? Yeah, I, I've, I've said that for the last couple of years. I think the way that he's developed as a player, uh, the tricks, the tools, um, and I've said it again multiple times in the past, that the only thing that was ever preventing Anthony from really achieving greatness was himself getting in his own way. And now that he's maturing, um, I can start to see, you know, what I think his potential is, and he's going to make me work really hard for the back half of my career to try weeks. and uh, add to my resume. Players internationally and domestically being assembled in five different regions. A really intelligent approach to this PBA season. Look, we're all dealing with a lot of things in life right now, yep. what's going on.